I will give you my best Microsoft PowerPoint tips and tricks for the design aspect of the PowerPoint while I demonstrate how you can improve these two PowerPoint slides into becoming so much more better and to the point. So here are the two PowerPoint slides that we will be improving today. The first one is some kind of purpose slide that a company could have that are based on the three different aspects of we are strong, we are sustainable and we are developing. I've just made these ones up, as you can see. There's just lorem ipsum text, so you're gonna have to live with that. And then there's another slide with just a bunch of text about future trends and then also offerings that this company has. So this is what we have to work with. I will just use this general Microsoft PowerPoint theme. I just picked one and put in the text. The colors look like this. This is what the color scheme looks like. In 99% of the cases, the company that you're working for will have their own PowerPoint theme. So it's maybe just if you're a student or don't have some kind of connection to an organization where you might need to use PowerPoint's built-in themes, but they're good. They're not the same like 10 years ago when we were younger. They're actually quite good. So I'm just gonna have a general one because I want to show you that you can use kind of any theme in order to do this. Also, a recommendation for you before getting started is to, especially if you're a beginner, stick to the theme. Stick to this color theme because someone has thought this through so there's no need to reinvent the wheel again. Use these colors that are simply available. Also, something that is a really good thing to know is that most PowerPoints have these grid lines. Okay, so this one didn't have it. I will insert a picture of a PowerPoint with grid lines, but it basically shows where you should put content so that you don't put content too far out to the edges, if we don't want to, of course. But any text should stay within those borders. Also, another thing before we get started, don't play around too much with transitions and animations. Just focus on making the PowerPoint look good. Just keep it simple, have the transition like uh, regular, none, or fade. And that's all you need to do. Okay, so for the first slide here, the first thing I'm thinking about is that we need to have a better headline. Our purpose, sure, it's informative, but I would recommend to always have some kind of power statement as your headline. So let's say this company has their overarching vision is that we are the future. See, that's so much cooler than just our purpose. If you're being clear enough, people will understand that this is your purpose anyways. And this slide is not looking that bad actually, but we can improve it even further. And the first thing I would do is that since we have this divided into these three beautiful columns, basically, we can add pictures into these. So you can do that either from PowerPoint's own picture stock images. So you can just search for strong and then you can find these rocks. Could be a good picture. Um, so let's say we pick the rocks for we are strong. There are also some really good websites that you can use. So I usually use Pexels a lot. So there you can also search for stock photos that are free to use that you can just download and use for yourself. So I'll just pick sustainability and I'll just do the same thing for development. Now I have these three pictures, so I will just make sure that they are in a square format. And then just to make it a bit more interesting, I will make them into circles. Make sure that they're all the same size. There you go. And then we can start distributing them. And now, as you can see, the text is way too long. So we need to do something about that. Either we just reduce the size. This is still very readable. This size 16. I could probably put it down to 12 and that's no problem. But it's still a little bit too much. So I would say that 
try to reduce the text. You don't need so much text if it's a PowerPoint that you're going to be talking around. So I would say in this case, it's hard because it's lorem ipsum text. So I'll just delete a bit of it. Like this way, problem solved. But um, I would do this 14, I think. But in a regular PowerPoint, you can just shorten the text, summarize it. I know for most texts in PowerPoint, you can reduce it a lot without affecting the meaning of the text. So we'll just delete this and this one, I guess is good. And then we'll make sure that they are the same size, these texts. And then I think we'll just put this text in the middle so that it's centered for the picture. No, you know what? We're gonna do all of this centered like this. And then make sure that they're in the middle of the picture. Okay, so we have, we're strong, we're sustainable, we're developing. So this is already looking so much better, but I think there's still something we can do to improve it. And that is just a simple tip that I learned from one of my colleagues is to just put objects on top of each other, which is really silly, but it works so, so well. So let's just do a square and we'll do it from left to right. Um, no outline, I think, and then move it to the back. Look, so much better already. It's so incredibly awesome. This brown probably looks best, I think. So here you go. This is a really good first slide. Like it's super simple and it looks so much better than the last one. And as I said, try to use colors from the PowerPoint design theme. So this picture is probably not the best because look at these colors. Let's see if we can change it a bit to make it look better. Nope, let me find another picture. Okay, see, that's so much better already. Always make sure that the text is simple to read. This one is really, really simple. There's space in between them. The headlines are bold. This text is big enough to be able to read and the contrast to the background is good. Black on white is super simple to read. So I would say this is a really good okay PowerPoint slide and it took us like what a couple of minutes to do. So it's very very simple. Okay so for this next one the first problem I see is that this headline was not bolded like in this one and I think the bold headline looked better. And the first problem I see here is that it's just too much text. If you're just using one of PowerPoint's built-in slides like this, title and content, and just fill it up with text, I would say that you're not trying hard enough. You can always improve this in some kind of way by just removing all of this text. And then I would say that the second problem of this slide is that we have two different messages. So first we're talking about future trends, this text, and then we're talking about four offerings that this company have. And I would say split them. So move this into a new slide, just to make sure that we know what we're talking about, offerings. And then this is about the trends. So you should always try to only have one message per slide. So that is really simple to understand what the slide is about. Do more slides instead. There's no problem in having a lot of slides if they are simple and easy and understandable. So let's just come up with a good title for this. This is about trends. So something like this. Okay, so it was a bit long. I will try to reduce it a bit. Try to always have the headline maximum two lines. Okay, so it's a little bit shorter now. It's not the best headline ever, but you get the point of it at least. Okay, so we have three different trends. And I would say trends are something about the future that is impacting you. And they're sustainability, digitalization and globalization. So I would like to find one picture that will represent all of these in some kind of way and put it into this PowerPoint. Okay, so I came up with this one. It fits the theme and it's kind of like 
the dots that are connecting the trends to your business. So I think I'll do this, go with the same theme, like having some kind of a round image because we started with that. And it's really good to pick up the same theme over and over in the PowerPoint again. So for example, in this slide, we did bold headlines, we did images, we did flat, like we could do dotted lines or we could do shadowed objects, but we did everything was flat and we didn't have any kind of outlines. So I think we will continue with those kind of themes. I want to make all of these three connected to this left one. I will make them three different boxes actually. So what you need to do is to make sure that you have enough space in between all of these and that none of them goes outside of the PowerPoint. And make sure that they're all left so that they're synced with each other and aligned. So then we could probably do something like this again. I'll remove this information because it was in the headline. So let's say this text is just about sustainability. This is about digitization. Add a lot of bit of space. And then I'll just do this for both of these. Okay, so now we have these three. Let's put it up a bit so that it's centered good on the slide. And then I want to make something cool that connects them to this one. So let's do circles again. I will make these into different colors based on this color spectrum. So see this gets too tight with this picture. So we'll just move it a bit. Yeah, that totally works. And then I would like to do a line in the same style. Okay, so here we have another finished slide. I think this looks pretty good. This slide, I think you could also do a lot more text and make the text smaller also. So I kept going with the circle theme. I did a couple of more circles to connect these to the image. I think it looks cool. And then I did the headlines. I wonder if I should probably make the headlines in this style, in the headline style, because you have a body style and a head headings style. So try to make these headings. Yeah, I think that looks good. Then these ones should probably also be that text. Just to keep it with the theme, you know. Okay, so cool. We have this image and this image. Now they look a lot better. And then we have the last one. So I think I want to include some icons here just to show you what you can do with them. I think we'll use both image and icons. I think those are two really good ways to make a PowerPoint look so much better. I'll just go ahead with it and let's see what happens. I will make an image that is big, I think, and then since it says that there are four offerings, I will just do it based on that. So I'll implement all of these other tips that I've been talking about. So change the headline, make the text readable and divide it into smaller sections, use icons, add an image and use the color theme. Okay, so this is what I came up with. So what I've done is that I've added some icons. I was thinking that one icon might represent every offering that they have. And then this text just seems to be in general about what they offer. So I would just have that separate, but you could also do right, like put text specific to all of these four different offerings and that would be good as well. But I think it looks good. It's clear, it's readable and it's simple. So this is what it looks like now. This is slide number one, then we have number two, and then number three. So I think they look good. Just for a beginner, this is super simple. Just add things, use images, use icons, make sure that the text is readable, have spaces in between everything. 
make sure to stay within the lines and then they will look pretty good. If you find it really hard to come up with a good slide, Google it. There's so many good suggestions on Google and also Pinterest is a really good site where you can find a lot of different slides that other people have made and then you can just get inspired and do your own thing with them. If you want to learn how you can become a little bit faster with your emailing, make sure to check out this video. If you like the video, you know what button to push. Thank you for watching, have a great week and I'll see you in my next video.